Pikachu is sleeping. What's up guys, the tech spy here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone and iPad with jailbreak features. Get this without a jailbreak. Now for this, we're gonna be using a piece of software called Kawabunga. Ciao bro. Okay, now Kawabunga supports basically every single iOS version. So if you're on iOS 15, 16, 17, or above, this will work. The only difference is that when a new iOS version is released, some features of Kawabunga might not work, but overall, it does work. I will be doing this on my iPhone 13 Pro running iOS 17.2 beta, but any device or software version will work. Now with Kawabunga, you can install themes, and I'm not talking Siri shortcuts. These are actual themes, and you could tap on the app and it opens like normal. On top of that, you could also increase or decrease the animation UI speed, so you can make your iPhone feel faster or slower, as well as many other things. For this video, the method I will be showing you guys requires a Mac and a cable to connect your iPhone. The Mac method is the easiest way to use Kawabunga with the highest success rate. Now, before we get started, please make sure to back up your device. If in the off chance anything does go wrong, you will lose data. So I don't want you to get mad at me if something happens. But overall, this software is very safe. Cool. Now that there's no risk of losing data, let's get started. Now the developers recommend turning off Find My iPhone for everything to work properly. So open up your settings application, tap on your account, Find My in the option right there, Click here and simply turn off Find My iPhone. Turn off. But we just need it to be turned off temporarily for this to work. First, plug your device into your computer. Then, unlock your iPhone. If it asks you to trust the computer, simply click on Trust and type in your passcode. From here, on your Mac, open up your internet browser. It'll bring you to this page if you click on the first link. You do not need to worry about this and you can completely ignore it. But over here, it does show what Kawabunga is and all the features and new features being added. So if you want to take a look at the feature list, it's going to explore this page over here. But anyways, in the description box below, all you want to do is click on the Mac link and it'll bring you to this page. Now, this is the Mac OS version. So Mac OS 11 and Mac OS 12. If you have the newer Mac OSs, you want to click on 12 and 13. But if you have an older one, for example, Mac OS 11, you'll click this link. But I have the newer Mac OS, so I'm going to click right here. You guys can see we now have it downloaded. Simply double click on it, right click or control click on Kawabunga Lite.app and click on open. And it's for the first time. After that, you can just open it normally. But anyways, click on open. And this is Kawabunga. Now, if your device does not show up when connected, to simply refresh. Again, make sure it's trusted. It shows your device name and what iOS you are on. Now, home is where you'll find a list of the devs and where to follow them. If you click on explore, this is where you'll find themes that you can just directly install from this. So, for example, if I do want this theme right here, all I gotta do is click on download. And I want this theme over here. I'm going to click on download too. And then if you go to the next tab, icon theming, you guys can see that those themes have been presented below. And this is where you add themes. So simply you would click on enable. You can also hide app labels, which I'll just do to show you guys. As app clips makes the apps as app clips. So there's really no difference for me there. So I would just leave this unchecked. And theme all apps includes apps not included in the selected themes. You could also import themes from clicking on this button. And to download themes, I actually have a website over here for you guys as well. It is this right here. So you guys can see there are many different themes and to download them, let's say for example, I want Taffy. So all I gotta do is click on get, it'll load up. And all you wanna do is click on add to account. Now for the first time, it'll ask you to sign in or create an account, just create it real quick. It's completely free. And then once you have signed in, simply click on add to account again and you'll be brought to this page. It didn't even ask me for my credit card details or anything and it says 000, so that's how you know it's completely free. Anyways, click on download icons.zip from here go ahead and open up the zip file and you want to go into it so you guys could see 
all the icons. So you just got to see which one is the main icon folder. So it's this one. It has a lot more. So now you can go in and close out of this and minimize and import the theme in Cowabunga. We're going to go to our downloads wherever it's saved. There's Taffy icons. This one has 200 items. I'm going to click on this one and click on open. And boom, just like that, we now have the Taffy icons. To use a the theme, simply click on select. If you click on status bar, it does crash because this feature is not supported on iOS 17 just yet. But you can also change the settings of what the status bar looks like with the text and Wi-Fi and everything. So that feature will soon be updated for iOS 17. Anyways, I got my icon theming enabled as well as a hide app labels. I'm going to go to springboard options. You can enable this as well. So you got disable lock after respring, disable screen dimming while charging, disable low power battery alerts. You can enable your control center on your lock screen, bring mute modules in control center, show your build version in the status bar. You could get some developer features, which I'm going to leave unchecked, and you can even set airdrop to everyone. So right now in iOS 17, you can only set airdrop to everyone for 10 minutes. With this, you can just keep it permanent to everyone. You could also change the UI animation speed so you can make it super slow or super fast. You can also add lock screen footnote text. Let's just put some emojis here and random ones. You can make it whatever you want. So you can just like have it make it say like swipe or something. Lastly, we got setup options. If you click on that, you can enable this and make sure skip setup is checked. That is recommended. You can also disable over the air updates so you won't get those pop-ups for that. So if you're waiting for a jailbreak and want to stay on the lowest version of iOS possible, I would check that. And enable supervision, that's basically a developer feature. So basically, once an iOS version is unsigned, you'll still be able to downgrade to it 30 days after it is unsigned. Before we do apply the changes, it is best on your iPhone if you do make sure that it is left unlocked. This will guarantee a higher success rate and it does work really well. So anyways, on our computer now, we're simply going to go to apply and apply tweaks. Let's go. Just click on it once. Don't spam click it. Sometimes they'll feel like nothing is happening, but it's actually doing stuff. It said restore progress. And if you scroll down over here, all you want to focus on is the very bottom and it will say restore successful this device should reboot now that's how you know it did work and now my device is rebooting boom here we are and i know this is a little bit scary because it looks like it just erased all the data off your device but it did not so anyway it's going to swipe back up type in your passcode and over here for appearance simply click on continue and this part is very important it says iphone is partially set up now there's two options at the bottom one says erase and start over the other one says continue with partial setup make sure make Make sure you click on continue with partial setup at the bottom and with this screen just set up for myself so the first button right there and it's going to wait boom okay if you follow those steps you will not erase your phone and everything will be just like it was before except with the changes i'm going to unplug my device okay now let's take a closer look yeah i can see i do have those emojis present so you can make that say whatever you wanted to on top of that if i go to unlock you yeah, i can see the animations are just super quick it's just a lot quicker and it's absolutely insane. So much faster. You guys can notice that it just locks instead of having that delay. And if I go to swipe over, we now have our custom app icons. So it's just basically just opening up super quick like a regular app, which is so awesome. If you apply a new theme, the icons of the new theme will replace all of the old icons from the previously selected theme. Now, if you do want to remove any of these things, enable the options and then disable the options they did not want and then hit apply and it will remove them. Now for the themes, apps, if you do want to remove them, you might have to remove them individually, one by one, just like that. Hope you guys enjoy these nifty little iPhone tricks. This is the TechSpot. Thank you for watching. Peace.